Welcome class, this is Season 11 Rumble Changes by Cozy Boys aka Mr. Lee. I will be lecturing about the Season 11 Rumble Changes today. And our first topic is Doran's Ring Start. In Season 10, Rumble could only start Doran's Shield. The playstyle of Rumble in Season 10 was just to survive landing phase until your boots were ready. So you couldn't go Doran's Ring because you wouldn't be utilizing the mana region from Doran's Ring. However, in Season 11, Doran's Ring no longer provides you the mana region, but provides health every time you lasted a minion. And what that means is that Rumble's abilities will deal more damage due to increased AP from Doran's Ring, meaning faster wave clear from fl Flamethrower and a bigger shield. Number 2, Dark Seal. In Season 10, Dark Seal gave you a uh, percent increased healing from pots and gave you 100 mana, which Rumble can't use. Therefore, Dark Seal wasn't efficient on Rumble. Also, the max AP you could get from Dark Seal was 40, which is basically a blasting wand. <coughs> However, in Season 11, Dark Seal was changed. It no longer gives you mana, but you gain more AP, which is you get you get five more AP and 40, 40 health from Dark Seal. Additionally, at max stacks, it provides you with 65 AP in total, which is equivalent to a needlessly large rod. And basically, the conclusion. Dark Seal is good on Rumble, and Dark Seal got buffed on Rumble. Plus, it's also really easy to get max stacks on Rumble due to his early skirmishing ability and roaming power. So, you are basically getting a needlessly large rod for 350 gold. I also want to talk about Zanya's Hourglass slash Seeker's Arm Guard. Number one, Zanya's Hourglass got cheaper. It was 2,900 gold, now it's 2,500, but the only thing that got reduced was just 10 AP, and all stats stayed the same. So what that means is that Azania's Hourglass, which is a core item on Rumble, will be faster to buy. The whole entire reason Zanya's Hourglass was good was due to its ability to be untargetable and invulnerable, and another reason is when uh, Rumble uses the Q Zanya's combo, you can also do that way earlier now. And number two, Seeker's Arm Guard, it was 1100 gold, now it's 900, and with 5 AP reduced and all stats is the same. Basically, the conclusion, as Rumble, AD Champs like Lucian, Zed, Yasuo, Yone, etc. will be easier to play against than before because Seeker's is cheaper, meaning you can get it faster to counter these Lucian heavy AD champions. Leandre's Torment, currently in the patch 10.24. The best item to go on Rumble is Night Harvester. And basically, Leandre's Torment, it's not there anymore. And the only thing you can go is Rift Maker and Night Harvester, I'm pretty sure. But this also got nerfed in 10.24, but other I IP items got nerfed with it, so it's not, it's not just nerfing Rumble. So the conclusion, just adapt to the item, so there will be no problem in using the item. That's pretty much it. And Void Staff. Basically Void Staff got changed and it was 2650 gold to 2500 gold and the most important stuff to know is the build path on Void Staff. Basically in Season 10, Void Staff was made out of a blasting wand with an Amp Tome plus 1365 gold which made up 2650 gold and assuming you're building this item late game, I'll be assuming that you don't have enough slots to buy both Amtome and a Blasting Wand. So the only way you can buy Void Staff is to buy it in one go, or buy an Amtome first and then buy the Void Staff, or buy a Blasting Wand first and then buy the Void Staff for 1800 gold. But in my memory, getting 1800 gold in late game is pretty difficult because everyone is grouping, but in Season 11, it got changed. Blighting Jewel is 1250 plus Blasting Wand plus 400 gold is basically Void Staff. And there are three ways to buy the Void Staff. To buy it in one go, buy the Blasting Wand first and then Void Staff. Or buy the Blighting Jewel to buy Void Staff. And conclusion is it's easier to build Void Staff because the items to make Void Staff got more expensive. Meaning the item itself got cheaper when you built these ex more expensive items. Number 6, Boots. 
There's no change in boots, but recently I've been building Swifty boots to roam faster, and the base movement speed after Swifties is 4 413, especially if you run Swifties with celerity, and the room below is the one that I'm currently running. Arcing Comet with Nimbus Cloak with Celerity and basically the Domination Tree. In conclusion, Rumble itself definitely either got better or is still the same but definitely did not get nerfed and however other champions just got stronger so I guess Rumble is still in a bad spot or he wasn't in, in a bad spot last season but I guess just comparatively uh, Rumble got worse. Just want to thank you for joining Season 11 Rumble Guide Class 101 and class dismissed.